all right uh, so in this lecture we will just fix this uh, uh, paginator okay so because uh, i just want to finish all of these uh, small functionalities first then we'll get into the major functionality that is uh, uh, the product variation here okay so the color and size and all those stuff and uh, we still have to fix this uh, search functionalities also we can do that later but uh, i just wanted to finish uh, this cart icon and this paginator first before i get into the uh, product variation okay so for now let's uh, uh, do this one okay so to do this uh, we have a, a django documentation so if you go to the google and say um, a django paginator so uh, this uh, the first result will take you to the uh, docu documentation here and uh, just scroll down uh, here you can see uh, they have given you the uh, html code here okay so you can you can read uh, the, all these things okay so this is actually the basic version of the uh, uh, paginator but in this lecture we want to match this uh, paginator buttons and all those stuff with the you know the uh, bootstrap template right so so what we'll do is we will uh, do a little bit of customization here and uh, uh, inside the store uh, let's first see where is the paginator okay so here you can see we have a new bar and ul okay so this is our uh, previous button next button and one two three all right so first of all let's go to the uh, store view okay so here inside the store apps and we have a view start by file so uh, we have a two if condition here i mean the one if condition and one another one is else so in the in the if block we are handling it when we are selecting for the uh, you know select uh, uh, you know selecting for the category so this part we'll do next and first let us uh, do the for the all product okay so that means uh, if you go to the store here all the products will be listed right so i just want to show only one uh, i mean the only six products here and um then the uh, next button or one and two page numbers okay so i uh, will do this now and go to here so whenever we do the paginator we should uh, bring a couple of uh, modules here uh, from django dot core dot paginator import empty page comma page not an integer comma paginator so this p is capital and once uh, this is done uh, let's go to this else block first we'll handle this for all the products and we have got the products here we have all the products here that means we have eight products here right so here what we'll do is we will say paginator is equal to a uh, paginator uh, we are referring to this one okay paginator and inside this paginator we will pass the products that we have in the in here right so this products and the number of products we want to show in the in one page okay so that is uh, maybe six if you want to show three or four then you can uh, do four right so i want to show six here and i'll write six and once that is done what we'll do is we'll say page equal to a request dot get dot get so here we will capture the url that comes with the page number right so what i mean by page page string here that is uh, uh, if you go to this here so ultimately what we are doing here is we are just saying page equal to two like this we want to do right so this page we are capturing is from the get request right so this page will come into this uh, get method okay so 
uh, you will understand it once we are implementing it in the uh, template okay and uh, the next is paged paged product product so at this moment we will get the page product okay page generator dot get page and here uh, we will say the page all right so we have a uh, six products here right we got the six products here not here we got the we got the eight products here and we are taking only six products and that six product will get stored into this paged products okay and this page product should be passed inside the template right because that's where we are going to uh, show to the user right so in that case what we'll do is we will just say uh, you know just copy this one this paste underscore products and inside the context instead of passing the products itself we will uh, pass the paged products okay so this will contain the six products now and if you just say uh, you know uh, control s that is uh, when you save the file and go to the page here and uh, let me first remove this one all right now we are able to see only uh, six uh, six products in one page right so this this is not working yet but uh, you know but uh, we'll make that work in the uh, next video but uh, just to uh, show you guys we are getting only six products in one page and if you just uh, remove this uh, six to three and uh, when you refresh this you get only three but uh, i mean the three products okay so that's how it works and in the next lecture we will actually uh, you know implement this button all right so thank you